Okay, so the new Shadow Mod teasers have finally arrived, and it's now time to discuss about how I feel about these new teasers. Because, yeah, Shadow Mod's like the most main figurative speech of the new season that's coming in the future, as said by the synopsis, or at least how emphasis by the synopsis. Now, at least we saw the actual idea from the Globe teaser, and I think it's. Mm, pretty interesting, but there are pros and cons to it. So you're gonna be starting with the good side now looking at shadow moth um, I would start with the cons probably not the pros because you know at least this trailer doesn't actually speak everything too much But I have two cons to keep in mind number one the design like um, at least it's, it's just a teaser we still can't confirm how it's gonna turn out officially when the show is actually out but looking at the teaser and if this is actually from an episode of desert teasing I think the designs like a bit lazy like they could have done a bit more like we have seen other concepts fan arts and you know shadow mod could go something way far dangerous now yeah just making something simple doesn't mean it's not good it's definitely gonna be good and I have high expectations for it but the design just physically mm, it feels a bit you know like little done like yeah the shadow mod does look like shadow mod but just look at the face and look at the eye it's like Hmm, like something's incomplete. It's it's not done completely. There's something's just not there. It's it's a lazy design. But yeah, I'm not gonna be complaining too much over there because of how the team worked in the situation and yeah, just something doesn't look that good or crazy doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. So I still have my high ups for that. And second of all, if Shadow Moth or Hawk Moth, however you call him, Acumatizes all of these people all of these people again like are we gonna have reflected 2.0 reflected 3.0 uh, Lady Wi-Fi 2.0 like how many times will miraculous re acclimatize villains like they gotta have something you know Yeah, a villain will be more powerful the next time they are re acclimatized like Lady Wi-Fi was again re acclimatized in Felix and you know all those characters and again if they're actually re acclimatized again this, this doesn't feel nice, but I'll just take for it. Now, that's just like that's just the straight off bad side or I would say the con side of the things like reacclimatizing stuff and the lazy design. But here comes the good part. Now, just judging by the fact that all of these tasers came from a single episode. Now, no one confirmed that these teasers are from the same episode, but just teasing Shadow Mod probably means these are from the same episode. I'm not going to judge over here, but I'm going to state some theories on where the episode could be placed, uh, just according to me and how I feel about Ladybug's and Cat Noir's expression. Now, they just look tensed, in my opinion. I, I, I still don't know um, how accurate I should actually say that it is, but they definitely look tensed and yeah. But just look at Cat Noir's face. Just look at how Ladybug's running. It's it's very little compared to the first teaser of Su Han. Uh, the Shadow Mod teaser really doesn't speak of that much. But yeah, I still decided to make this separate video just for Shadow Mod, anyways. But technically speaking, they could have done a bit more with Shadow Mod's teaser and maybe Shadow Mod. It's just my opinion. But I just would have loved a bit more of that. And second of all, coming to the fact where the episodes could be placed for the future or maybe how Gabriel planned things. Now, Gabriel has just fixed the Peacock Miraculous for himself. So he could probably use Natalie or someone to try it out first before he going to do the Shadow Mod thing himself. Or, you know, how much seeing Natalie suffered. I don't think so. Gabriel is going to be giving Natalie a second chance of trying the Miraculouses by herself. Instead, he going to take the path or just, you know, step in the pool without knowing the swimming, maybe. But I'm still not sure how to, you know, compromise or say that where to put the episode. I think the ending part would be, um, you know, a bit suited for a spot or in the middle part of the episode where Hawk Moth finally takes the courage to just take the Precog Miraculous and deciphers the Grimoire and then learns how to, you know, fuse Miraculouses, maybe. I'm just guessing and I'm also excited for how the evil fusion phrase could be because we still we already know that miraculouses have phrases depending on good or evil so yeah I'm also excited for that so that's pretty much it to say about the shadow mod teaser like I have no clue the teaser itself was just so short that it's nothing to be said for here but one thing's for sure I just would like the design to be improved and just looking at Gabriel's face he does look happy that the miraculous is work and the butterflies look a bit different too and yeah nothing's te technically changed and he's probably re the villains again this time with even more power or with an elongated senti monster so we will probably see lady wi-fi's senti monster and we would see uh, 
Princess Fragrance's Sunny Monster. We already we we have already seen Reflect Doll, so we've probably seen new Sunny Monsters along with the acclimatization of the previous villains. Now. I didn't want that, but again, if it's done in a good way, then why not? But now let's consider the main part of the trailer, where I think a lot of confusion still lies, and that's Master Fu and Merlane. Now, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure over here yet. I'm still flabbergasting over here, but I really don't think Master Fu has returned to train Marinette or with the same intention, the same mental as before, like he was the guardian or stuff like that. It could probably just be Master Fu and Merlane visiting. And Merlane does know about the miraculous and stuff and probably will give Ladybug or Marinette, however you say it, some sort of clue or depth or something. But I really still doubt that Master Fu has actually regained consciousness, regained his memories, because, man, it doesn't make sense. We already have Su Han over here. Or maybe, let's just consider maybe, Su Han and Master Fu meet each other while Su Han comes to visit Paris. I still doubt that Master Fu will even meet Su Han, but even if he meets Su Han, I really doubt that this is going to happen, that Master Fu actually regains his consciousness and is ready to probably, you know, just like give his life and stuff of that for whatever the mistake he has done. But technically speaking, I really don't think Master Fu's returned in the same intention with the same mental as with the Guardian and stuff. He still has lost his memory. It's just could probably be visiting Marinette and then the story taking some other side with Su Han. But I barely doubt that he has actually regained his memory or has returned back. And I don't think so we can even consider this a repetition of season 3 or the ending of season 3 because Marina technically has her school back with her. And, you know, they're clearly getting on the train the way they didn't get into the train. So definitely Master Fu has returned for some purpose. Uh, we technically still don't know why he returned. But technically looks like he has returned and he does have some potential for the future season. And I'm hell of excited because what what could he even bring for the new season? But yeah, technically I'll still disagree that Master Fu has returned his memory and that's the purpose he's returned. That's like the basic purpose of what I can see over here. Merlane has something related to the miraculous probably, but I doubt that Master Fu has returned back the memories. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for Shadow Moth and did you expect more or... Is this much enough? Let me know in the comments and I'd love to read them.